Hi, I'm Kazia from Robo Wunderkind, and today we have our Robo with us, here for an exciting new project. We're going to talk about how we can make robots that take inspiration from nature, and we're going to make a little animal Robo. Have you ever seen a robotic animal before? And why would people have a robotic dog? A robot that looks like a dog can be for people who aren't able to take care of a real dog or want to learn how to take care of it. So to start with the build for our dog Robo, we're going to start with our main block. This is important because it's the brain and the battery for our Robo. Next, we're going to start by putting together the big wheels onto the smart motor so that our dog can move. It's important to make sure that your wheel is fastened onto the little round axle part of the smart motor block. Now that we've got that connected, we're going to put that onto our main block. Remember to put the right motor on first, followed by the left. Next, we're gonna see how we can make our little Robo look balanced. As you can see, you need something to support it, like its back legs. So we're gonna use the small wheel on the back. See, now it's balanced. Okay, now we're gonna make the head and the neck for our dog. So we're gonna use our third smart motor block right here. And then make sure that we put the a distance sensor on top where the little round axle is. Don't forget to use the cable connector from the head to the neck. This will ensure that our dog Robo can see. Okay, at this point, you can also use Legos or other materials to make sure that our Robo looks more like a dog. So here are the ears to our Robo, and here's the tail. Great. Doesn't a robot look like a little dog? Now remember, if you don't have Legos, you can also use other materials. I made these little ears out of some construction paper, and here's the tail. Now that we made our robot look like a dog, we're gonna make our robot behave like a dog. At this point, you can also use the Robo Live app to control the robot and see it move around the room. However, today, we're gonna to focus on coding, and so we're gonna use the Robo Code app. Make sure that your device is connected and open a new project. Let's start by dropping the dog sound onto our project. Oh, oh. Now let's make him move forward. It's important to make sure that the right motors are used for this motion. So for this, we wanna disable our third motor, which is the neck of our dog, so that it doesn't move around while he's moving forward. Okay, now let's make him move around the room looking for us. We're gonna drop two of these um, turning movements onto the project, and then we're gonna add some sounds with that. So let's make our dog bark while he's doing that. At this point, we can take our connection and put them all together to make one code. Now that we've done that, we want to make sure that our dog is woken up from the nap. To do that, we're going to go to the pause action and then set the timer to infinity. This tells us that our dog is asleep. To make sure our dog is woken up from the nap, we're going to use a trigger. We're going to use this trigger, which basically uses the distance sensor so that our dog is woken up. Now, what distance do you want to do? Maybe 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters? Let's pick 20. That seems like a good distance. Okay. Remember to move the start to the beginning of our dog's nap.
Now let's test out our code to see how a RoboDog behaves. Press the play button in your code. Nothing happens. That's because he's asleep. To wake him up, we need to bring our hand to the disco oh, sensor. Oh, 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 oh. Now, your challenge this week is to make a robot inspired by nature or an animal. What kind of animal will you do? How will it look like it? And how will it behave like that animal? Don't forget to send us your design via Instagram or by email. Till next time.